INFs are passionate idealists. I also have a Twitch channel. Head on over there for more roleplay advice and other fun stuff. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry and today we're going to talk about INFJs and INFPs. Yes, this is another MBTI Types video. If you missed the first one, I'm going to link it up in the card. Go watch that so you can understand the history and foundation of everything that we're going to be going into today. We're going to talk about the two INF types. And remember, MBTI is primarily a workplace tool, and you can use it to help determine how a character acts, reacts, makes decisions, and what things they notice in their environment. The first letter of your MBTI type is either E for extroversion or I for introversion. This is your favorite world. Do you prefer to focus on your outer world or your inner world? Those who prefer introversion expend energy through action. They prefer to reflect, then act, and then reflect again. To rebuild their energy, introverts need time alone away from activity. The second letter is either S for sensing or N for intuition. This defines how you process information. Do you prefer to focus on the basic information you take in, or do you prefer to interpret information and add meaning? Those who prefer intuition tend to trust information less based on their senses and more based on how it connects to other pieces of information. They may be more interested in future possibilities. For them, meaning is in the underlying theory and principles that manifest from the data. The third letter is either T for thinking or F for feeling. This is how you make decisions. Do you first look at logic and consistency, or do you first look at people in special circumstances? Those who prefer feeling tend to decide things based on empathizing with the situation, looking at it from the inside, and then reaching a consensus. They tend to consider, first and foremost, the needs of the people involved. INFs are passionate idealists. They use their intuition to make connections between systems and how those systems affect us. Then they reflect on those ideologies in their inner world. They apply what they learn to determine what is the right thing to do. The difference between these types is the last letter, either J for judging or P for perceiving. This is how you deal with the outside world. Do you prefer to decide things or do you prefer to stay open to new information? INFJs are known as advocates. Those who prefer judging feel most comfortable when they have a plan, and they would rather come up with five backup plans than deal with events as they come, preferring to consider their options ahead of time. Personality types with this trait prefer clarity and closure, sticking with the plan rather than going with the flow. Combine this with their INF nature of being passionate idealists, and that means INFJs tend to take concrete steps to realize their ideals in the world. Advocates are creative, insightful, principled, passionate, altruistic, and imaginative. But they're also sensitive to criticism, hesitant to open up, perfectionist, avoid the ordinary, resistant to routines, and prone to burnout. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's look at how INFJs handle things in their career. INFJs want to know that their work helps people and promotes their own personal growth. This means that their work must be in line with their values, principles, and beliefs. They thrive when they have opportunities to express their creativity and insight, and they're especially motivated when they know what they're doing has meaning. They also tend to do their best when they can ignore workplace politics and hierarchies and simply do what matters to them. Most people with this personality type prefer not to think of themselves as above or below anyone else, no matter where they are on the job ladder. They may struggle in jobs that offer little independence or agency. They're often drawn to behind the scenes and non-competitive jobs. But these jobs can lead to frustration if they don't allow the individual to act as they see fit or to make a difference. This could be mitigated by them seeking out leadership positions or starting their own business. They make great clergy, teachers, doctors, musicians, counselors, psychologists, social workers, and childcare providers. INFPs are known as mediators. Those who prefer perceiving are much more flexible when it comes to dealing with unexpected challenges. 
This flexibility helps them seize unexpected opportunities as well. These personality types tend to react to their environments rather than try to control them, helping them to make their own luck in whatever the world delivers. People with this trait hold that life is full of possibilities. Combine this with their INF nature of being passionate idealists. This means INFPs are dedicated to authenticity within themselves and between others. Mediators are empathetic, generous, open-minded, creative, passionate, and idealistic. But they're also unrealistic, self-isolating, unfocused, emotionally vulnerable, desperate to please, and self-critical. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's see how INFPs handle their career. INFPs long for a career that doesn't just pay the bills, but also feels fulfilling. They want a low-stress, low-drama job that they genuinely love. This means INFPs are often drawn to doing altruistic work, or working for nonprofit organizations, or organizations with a strong mission or cause. And ultimately, they want a workplace that rewards not only independence, but also positive interpersonal relationships. INFPs may struggle to work in high-stress, bureaucratic, or hectic environments. They can also become frustrated with workplaces that are highly critical or competitive. They might struggle to find a profession that both meets their practical needs and fulfills their passion, causing them to drift in frustration, making them feel worried that they're not living up to their potential. They make great writers, counselors, teachers, musicians, clergy, social workers, psychiatrists, or psychologists. INFJs and INFPs both thrive on creativity in the workplace. Where they differ is INFPs try to have everyone get along and keep the peace in the workplace, whereas INFJs reject the hierarchy and issues that come with it altogether. So that's INFJs and INFPs. Do you have any INF characters? After watching this video, are you inspired to make one? Let me know all of that down below, and don't forget, as always, to make it a great day.